Welcome back everyone to our example 2 video for trig substitution using tangent. We've got the integral of dx over 1 plus x squared all squared. If it weren't for the square on the bottom outside, we would just have a tangent definition. Uh, but here we have to see this as some a squared plus u squared. Uh, here a is 1 obviously and u is x. And so for this one, we will let u equal to a tangent theta. In other words, x is equal to 1 tangent theta, or just tan theta. And if we're replacing x in terms of theta, we need to replace dx in terms of theta as well. So the derivative of tangent theta is secant squared theta. dx is secant squared theta d theta. This expression right here, tangent theta equals x, we can think of as tan theta equals x over 1. And remember that tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent in a right triangle. So if my theta is here, my opposite would be there, my adjacent being down there, 1. And then this squared plus this squared equals this squared would give us the square root of 1 plus x squared for our hypotenuse using Pythagorean theorem. Okay, if we use all of that and we replace x's in terms of thetas, our dx becomes secant squared theta d theta on the top. Over, we have the quantity 1 plus x squared becomes 1 plus tangent squared theta so all of that is squared. We'll use our Pythagorean identity on the bottom that we have created. So we'll have secant squared theta d theta over changing 1 plus tangent squared to secant squared theta. But we have a square on the outside. So what we really have, I'll go ahead and write it on the same line here, is secant squared theta d theta over secant to the fourth theta. Okay, so if we reduce two copies from the top and the bottom, then that will just give us d theta on the top, and that will give us secant squared theta on the bottom. The best choice to make here is then to really see this as the integral of cosine squared theta d theta. And then because this is an even power of cosine, what we'll need to do is actually think of this using a double angle identity and think of this as 1 plus cosine of 2 theta over 2 d theta. Okay, we'll go ahead and bump the over 2 out, make that 1 half. I'll start over here. So that would be 1 half antiderivative of 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. And then if we integrate, we have a 1 half times the antiderivative of 1 d theta is just theta. And the antiderivative of cosine 2 theta will get a half come out, the reciprocal of 2 sine of 2 theta plus c. Okay, so we'll need to replace these things. Uh, first of all, theta. Replacing theta, you might be able to tell since tangent of theta is x, then this original statement here would give us that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of x. So this will be inverse tan of x here. And then sine of 2 theta, since I don't have 2 theta in my triangle, I need to really get this just in terms of theta. And so we would go ahead and write sine 2 theta as 2 times sine of theta times cosine of theta. Okay, so let's think about what we have there. So 2 times sine of theta. Sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So I will get the opposite, which is x over the root. So that will be x on top and the root of 1 plus x squared on the bottom. And then cosine of theta. That is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and so that will be 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared. 
Okay, so a couple of things are going to happen here. Um, we'll notice I think the 2 is going to reduce with the 1 half. I have a 1 half and a 2. So 1 half will reduce the 2 from the identity that we used for sine 2 theta. And then the roots on the bottom will become just a single expression of 1 plus x squared. Okay, so we'll go ahead and write our answer in terms of x now. So we get 1 half inverse tan of x. Now this one half reduced with the two from our identity, but we get a one half distributing in there. So we will actually get our x times one on the top will give us x, but then we'll have a two on the bottom and our root times our root will give us one plus x squared down below. Plus c, okay, that is our second Trig substitution with tangent example. We've got one more example three video and then some secant videos as well. Check those out. We'll see you then.